Hi guys, it's Debbie and well, the big day is nearly here. It's Christmas Eve and I would like to thank each and every one of you for being here. Today, my last Christmas video of 2016 will be Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, or as we all know it, The Grinch. The Grinch is a 2000 Christmas comedy film directed by Ron Howard. It is based on a 1957 children's book by the same name, written by Theodore Seuss Geisel, also known as as Dr. Seuss. The film is set in Whoville, a fictional town in which everybody is absolutely dedicated to Christmas, with an official countdown going on, and in which the inhabitants called Who's put all their time and energy in this holiday and are very competitive about their Christmas decorations and festive food. Only little Cindy Lou, portrayed by Taylor Momsen, realises that the Who's have forgotten the real meaning of Christmas, so the importance of loving and sharing. And they are now definitely spending too much time, effort and money in gifts and celebrations. The Grinch instead is a creature which lives on Mount Crumpet just behind Whoville. He absolutely hates Christmas and as a consequence all the inhabitants of Whoville because of a traumatic experience in his childhood. As a matter of fact the Grinch has always had a rather peculiar and frightening appearance with yellow eyes and long green fur. As a child he was always bullied in school and after a particularly unpleasant experience, he decided that he absolutely hated Christmas and he decided to live separately from the rest of the community on his own just with his dog Max. He also became a selfish loner with a rude, disrespectful and negative attitude. One day he secretly visits Whoville in disguise in order to ruin the Who's Christmas by wrecking havoc at the post office. But when he sees Cindy Lou uh, dangerously stuck in the parcel sorting machine, he decides to help her and freeze her from the machine. Cindy Lou understands that under the Grinch's evil facade there is a big heart and asks him to join a big Christmas celebration down in Whoville. This would mean that the Grinch would have to join the Who's, celebrate Christmas and most of all face some of his enemies such as Mayor Augustus May Who. The film is narrated in rhymes by Anthony Hopkins. As a matter of fact there are various rhymes throughout the film, a feature which the Grinch absolutely hates and which he associates with the Who's way of being. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas is the second highest um, grossing Christmas film of all time. It won an Academy Award for Best Makeup and it was also nominated for Best Art Direction and Best Costume Design. Dr. Seuss said that the character of the Grinch is based on himself after 53 years of having to put up with celebrations and finally discovering something about Christmas which he had lost. Some of the film's features, such as the Grinch's green um, fur and skin, are based on the 1966 uh, television special Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, uh, because in the original book the Grinch actually was black and white. I love the Grinch because although everything in the film is completely exaggerated, quirky and also sometimes a bit creepy, the plot never stumbles, maintaining a solid storyline and strong characters. I really, really love Jim Carrey's portrayal of the Grinch as he really conveys his hate for Christmas but also lets slip the fact that deep down he feels lonely and desires love and company. And he does all of this without compromising the character. I really like how natural he is and his hyperacting, even under so much makeup. He really delivered an awesome interpretation of the Grinch, totally immersing himself into the character. He actually sometimes also breaks the fourth wall and speaks directly to the audience. For example, he complains, as I said before, about the Who's tending to um, say everything in rhyme. The Grinch is considered just a grumpy and lonely creature. But the film, and Jim Carrey in particular, don't limit him just to these features. The story also shows us how he has a questionable sense of humour, how he seems to know absolutely everything about the Who's, despite hating them and absolutely avoiding them, and how in reality most of the acts of vandalism he performs are just pranks a child would play, such as sending fake letters or wrapping Cindy Lou in wrapping paper, scaring kids with uh, fake monster noises and so on. 
So most of the Who's perceive the Grinch just as a simple-minded beast, but in reality his personality is extremely deep and when we hear him speak, he appears more educated, creative and brainy than most of the inhabitants of Whoville, as their personality is mostly limited just to boasting about their Christmas decorations. So I love how the film has a series of positive messages such as ending the frenzy surrounding Christmas, dedicating our time uh, also to family and friends and not only dedicating time and money in gifts and celebrations. Then there is the message of forgiving others and learning to have a bigger heart and not be selfish at Christmas and during the rest of the year. In November 2018, a computer animated version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas will be released with Benedict Cumberbatch voicing uh, the character of the Grinch. So I hope you enjoyed this video and again I wish you a wonderful Christmas. See you soon in a new video. Bye!